I'm gonna uncover the fascinating diversity behind this all-American staple, dig into its history, and see how exotic ingredients are pushing this iconic food into incredible new dimensions. The yeah. interior wasn't cooked all the way, it just made sense to get rid of the middle. The technology then was a cauldron or a chaudière. So that's kind of where the word chowder comes from. So we had some uh, Krispy Kreme donuts, slapped it on, and the rest is history. I am one bite away from my life insurance being canceled. It's a red velvet fried chicken. Red velvet fried chicken. Nobody else is doing that. Not that I know of, no. $69? $69 hot dog. I want to taste <laughs> pork fat, but I just taste good cupcake. My very work? first cheeseburger sushi roll. I mean, this is like what I would consider the best steak I would ever have at a restaurant, and you're going to grind this up to make a hamburger. This is my grandfather's original recipe. It's all natural. It's made from scratch. I love the way you just lay it in like it's your baby. Look at that. Layer over. Wow. Elaine taught me a good life lesson. Set the bar high. And the bar for her was as tall as her pie. It's like a meatball inside out. It's like the sauce is on the mm -hmm. inside instead of over the top. It's stupid good, huh? That burnt sugar butter that just slides out of the back of my tongue is unbelievable. Creamy, crunchy, sweet, and spicy. Did some juice pop on the lens there? Did we get I some? Hope so, I hope so, because then you can taste what I'm tasting. <laughs> What's your favorite thing about it? Uh, eating it. <laughs> <laughs> well said. <laughs>